Hey everybody, this is Dan French and today we're at Pulte Homes and we have four models to look at. The one we're going to look at first is called the Cameron. It's 2180 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, one story, two car garage, selling for 609880 Right here, if you look at it, as you can see, they block off both sides of this new home so you can come in and take a look at these models. Eventually, they're going to probably branch out and open this up, build more properties on the outsides. Here they have it where the starting point here is your electrical. You got your telephone, all the electrical right here. And then over here, you have your water. And we don't really talk about that too much, but I want to bring that up today. So again, guys, this is the Cameron. And uh, let's go in and take a look at it. So we're talking about the Cameron here, and this is part of the Hartford collection. We have three other properties we're gonna look at. This is our first property. This is the only single story property. Let's go take a look. Voila! Right here, you got the camera. So let's take a look at this real quick, just so everybody understands. I just read this off, but that's always good to get that information. So as you walk in, we're at the front right here. And if you take a left, this is gonna lead you right into the garage. Now this garage isn't open. I like this, it's almost like a flat uh, gold or, or it's not a shiny gold. The shiny gold seemed like that was something that was used on older vintage or older style homes. This is more of a brass or more of a flat gold. It really kind of flows nice with the house. You'll see this throughout the house with this gold here on all of the fixtures. Coming in here, you got the downstairs, washer dryer, very nice. You also have the cabinets, like them very much. So we're not gonna get into the garage here, but obviously we get into the garage. They have a lot of upgrades in the garage. Um, they have water softener, things like that. Also have some information. Also you have the, uh, you know, anything like the furnace or also the, uh, we'll have the water heater outside too to take a look at, but we can't get in the garage. So we'll have to take a look at that next time. This right here, it's not technically a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet. I guess you can call it a bedroom or you can just call it maybe an office. I look at it more as an office as they have it set up. You know, it's a big open office. People come in, you know, if I'm doing real estate transactions, I can sit here and close deals, you know. Some people use their office for real estate where they come in and they actually use it as their address. Come in, I've been, I've met people where they're actually at their house and they have them come in and everything's kind of cut off a little bit, but they do that. So this is a really open, I like the, uh, the fixture here, the, the light fixture. Looks very modern. Again, that gold, consistent gold throughout these houses. I like it. Light grays, you got the, the uh, light baseboards, you know, thick, very high baseboards. Let's go over to the right. We didn't look at the right. So when you're walking in, here's the front. Right to the left, you have the washer dryer. You got the garage. Let's head right into here. So right off the bat, we have two bedrooms. This right here is a linen's closet. Over here, you have bedroom number one. I would say it's probably nine by 11, maybe 11 by 11. It's got a, you know, it's its own closet. Nothing spectacular, but it's big enough. Definitely good for anybody that has a family. Uh, over here, it's the same thing. Roughly the same size home. I do like the trim at the top, that little trim at that brown trim. I like that myself. I really think it's a good, good, uh, it's a good add to the house. Also, here's the closet, the walk-in closet. So again, this is probably an 11 by 11 home. You know, you got a nice big windows though. See these windows, people don't understand how important windows are. And these windows are very big, open, got a lot of light coming in, very nice upgrade. So you have a bathroom, and again, we're talking about the gold fixtures and like you got the handles, you got the sink faucet, everything's consistent. This is different, right? This is a different style gold. I like it personally. You know, it does match up with everything here in the bathtub. Everything looks good. Everything's uniform, consistent. And uh, you know, all these, I like this right here. They don't have 
you know, nothing extravagant in this in this speci specific model. They don't have anything extravagant, but it does have a nice flow to it, I feel. One story, it's gonna go quick. People love one story homes. So one of the things I do like about this house is every house has a nice open floor plan. But kitchens are very important. People always get sold on kitchens. You know, you got a Whirlpool, this will be all included into the warranty. And we'll talk about those warranties here in a second. Um, but you got the warranty, you got, you know, bumper to bumper, you got one for a 10 year that will include any electrical, any fixtures that need to be fixed. But we'll talk about that in the video. Also, let's come over here. You got the, the uh, dual oven here. So you got one is the microwave at the top, right? And then you got the oven. So I would say it's an oven microwave combo. And then, you have a walk-in pantry, right? Somewhat of a walk-in pantry. Nice, you know, got a lot of a lot of opportunity to store things. Again, for six hundred thousand dollars, one story. You're not. This is exceeding expectation for me. You know, a lot of the cabinetry upgrades. Okay, look at the backsplash. Will be upgrades. Um, most of the things that you get in Pulte, though, most of the items that you see, like if you wanted this extended uh, cabinetry right here, extended countertop probably going to be an upgrade but most of the things you see in Pulte homes it's what you get now you're going to you're going to have upgrades we don't have a lot premium so I will put the lot premium if there is one uh, into the comment section also into the video itself when I do the payment breakdown and you guys also want to make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to have a payment breakdown for this specific model I do like the island here it's almost like a step down or it's a layer down kind of gets everything a little bit, you know, somebody over here can hand stuff off. But I, if I had family like this, where you had four or five kids, great place to have breakfast. Great big open floor plan. We talked about this. Vinyl tile, right? This is vinyl tile, all upgrade. Nice. I love the tile consistently throughout. Um, really good floor plan for me if I'm one story. Also too, they also have cameras in here. And we didn't see this before. ADT's got cameras and it looks like they would have that set up. We have an ADT um, system over here that's set up over here. We could take a look at that. You got a bar, right? You can store wine, beer, whatever you want. And then you have like a nice little island here. Have any of your wines and any of your, you know, any of your alcohol beverages up here. It's very nice layout, very consistent. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it's another linen closet it looks like, or just a storage closet for things. Now we're going to head into the master suite. Okay, let's go take a look at this. Master suite, pretty good size. Okay, I'm not hugely impressed, but I do like the size of it. Again, nice layout. This is gonna be an upgrade. You have the bigger windows and you know, it looks pretty nice. Let's see if these things open. No, they don't have them opened up, but look, if you're waking up, you see this nice open floor plan with this nice window opening, you're gonna wake up in a positive mood. Coming in here, you got Pulte's standard tub that they usually come with by itself. Dual sinks, consistency throughout, nice gold handles, everything's good. You know, like I said, that gold pops. Normally I'm not a gold fan, but in this specific situation, it pops. Um, I would probably take this all the way to the ceiling if it was me. You got everything consistent here. Everything's nice, you know? But again, it's 600, what is it, 609,000. It does have some basic things to it. There's no real, real upgrades to it. This is a toilet right here. And then you got a closet here, a sharing closet. So when you're buying a home in Las Vegas for 600, uh, eight, 609,000, roughly 610,000, you can't beat this. It's one story in a great neighborhood and everything included. And for the most part, it doesn't have the real, you know, extravagant upgrades, but it's everything that you would want in a house. So let's head out to the backyard. Again, you're, you have company, you have people over, huge floor plan. I love it, man. I, I, would, I would definitely have a good time here. But let's get to the next one and talk about that one. So here's the backyard. Not a huge backyard, but this is what you get, right? When you look at this side right here, this will actually be up, you know, you know it'll, it'll raise up. They're just showing you the different models. So that's why you see the, the property down. Uh, you got the fireplace here. Not a lot to go with with the backyard, but again, 
It's a brand new home. We know Vegas. Vegas doesn't have a lot when it comes to new homes and big backyards. You have to really go an old style vintage home for any type of backyards. But for what you get for the price, you can't beat it. So if you guys have any questions, I'll leave a payment in the, in the end of this video. Uh, it'll be a payment breakdown. It'll have everything with HOAs, all the warranties, everything that's included. And if you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section. And we'll see you guys at the next video. I'm out. Okay, guys, this is the Cameron here. This is part of the Hayford collection here with American West Homes. American West Homes. And American West Homes is actually bought out by Pulte Group or Pulte Homes Incorporated um, in 2019. And they bought out operations of America West for $150 million. So this home is the Cameron. It's uh, 609880 starting price. They're going to have some upgrade costs. Also, uh, we don't know the HOA uh, payment on this yet. We'll have these items in the description below or the comments in the comment section. Um, for the Cameron, you're getting at uh, starting point is uh, 2180 square feet. This is a one-story, three-bedroom home, two-bath, uh, two-car garage. Uh, very nice home, uh, something that you know I look at and had some really good floor plans, very open, very spacious. Uh, some things I didn't like, the backyard, you're not going to get too big, you can look at it right here. This backyard, there's not much to do with it, you know, you're really buying the house itself. Uh, the master suite was okay, it wasn't nothing spectacular. Uh, it did have some upgrades, you look at the gold handles here, I really like that. Usually it, I don't like gold, but that type of gold, it popped. Um, and that was upgrades throughout. So let's look at the 10% down payment that everybody wants to talk about or, or think about because you can actually get this house at 5% down, but I'm gonna start at 10%. At 10%, you know, it's a pretty good rate, 2.99. Um, this is not considered a jumbo loan here in Clark County. Again, we always overestimate a little bit on the appraisal cost. Probably gonna run you about five to $600. Uh, you're looking at a total cost of uh, 79, uh, 1272 at 10% down. Rate's pretty good here. Um, you know, that's been fluctuating. Rates have gotten a little bit better. I did throw an HOA in here, and uh, the taxes, we just put 1% as an estimation. So that way we can kind of get an idea about where the payment would be at at 10%. It's about $3,200 a month. It's not bad. You know, that's including everything here. Um, it's a brand new home. You know, one story, very nice location. You're looking at, um, you know, Southwest. So again, this is the backyard. That was the backyard. We'll look at that again. This is the front of the house. And, you know, it's a one-story home. To me, it wasn't it wasn't eye-popping. It was nice. Like, I think the upgrades with the, uh, you know, the handles and you got the faucet there, uh, gold faucet and, and uh, just pretty much gold features throughout. Uh, it did have a nice open floor plan. I think that was really good. I like the base with the, uh, the baseboards. Um, we're okay. I like the actual flooring. That was nice. Here's the backyard we were talking about. It does come with a fire pit. Has a little bit to do with it. You could put a backyard if you wanted to. I just, I'm not a fan. It doesn't seem like you have a lot to work with on buying that type of home. So let's look at 20% uh, down. I want to see this really quick. So if you're looking at 20% down, let's scroll to the top here. Same fees, right? Appraisal fee, everything. Loan amounts obviously less, but you're going to be putting down a little bit more. You're going to put down 121800 uh, rate 2.99 now your payment drop though significant drop here uh, putting that down at 20% um, you know you're looking at about $2,700 a month on this and you know you compare that there's no mortgage insurance on this one um, so that's a difference right there on here you had mortgage insurance which you can see at the 10% down so at 20% down there's no mortgage insurance that's where you're really saving a lot of your money um, yes putting down the extra 10% helps but that's pretty much where you're saving but overall I really like the floor plan you can see this nice open floor plan there uh, this is another version of what you can get at the Cameron um, but you know open floor plan had a lot of the kitchens really nice here you had a lot of opportunity with this as far as uh, there's upgrades that you can see extended backsplash in the back you know I like the whole uh, countertop right here right around to uh, sit people to have breakfast or maybe just hang out or whatever you wanted to do now looking at the 25% down a little bit different you know uh, let's go ahead and price this out you're looking at the same rate we're just going to use the same rate here slightly better um, just a tad but you're looking at 2572 a month we just threw an HOA of $50 in there so you know, this is a good starting point. You know, that's going to be 170,000 due at closing, and these are all typically the fees you're going to see when it comes to um, 
really what the t- true cost of your loan would be. Now, it's an estimation, and I'm buying a new home. You're typically paying for everything. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, again, you can make comments in the comment section. I'll have the true HOA sitter lit if there is any master plan. Don't think there is a master plan on this one, but we're getting details still and also the cost of upgrades. I'm Dan French, Las Vegas Crib Tours. We'll see you at the next video. Thank you so much. Thank you.